welcome to my channel. Today I am on my little river boat on the Nile. It's really a great um, boat. It has um, enough rooms for just the group that I'm in. There's about 16 people along with the tour director, a tour guide, the leader of the group, and um, it's been fantastic. It's been such a great trip going to look at all of the temples and um, we're halfway through the trip. I'm going to do part one part now and kind of talk about some things that I've learned and then I will talk about um, the end of the video I'll do in Cairo and kind of give a perspective from, you know, add perspective from that place. So, before I went to Egypt, I did a lot of research around Egypt to find out what the culture is and what I should do, what I shouldn't do, and all those types of things. And honestly, a lot of the stuff that I listened to um, were fun to listen to, but I met, they weren't really accurate. They really talked about having clothes that cover you, that you need to be really careful. Let me tell you, that's not true. People are walking around in any type of thing they want they want to because and the people who live here they know we're tourists and they know that's our culture and so they are like fine you wear whatever you want because I'm going into temples and I'm going everywhere and I confirmed this with um, our tour guide um, that it's fine the only precautions that you need to take really in terms of clothing is if you're going into a market no matter what kind of market it is if it's a food market if it's a souvenir market any type of market they think because you're going in with the locals you should probably cover your shoulders you should you know in with respect to their culture just cover your shoulders and I asked I said so if people are wearing shorts is that okay as long as they're covering their shoulders and he said yes that's fine we understand that you know you're tourists and that you have your own culture like I said but cover your shoulders so that is the only thing that I um, in terms of clothing you need to worry about when you go to Egypt and um, I was pretty concerned about it and I tried to make a conscious effort to make sure I had baggy clothes and that I was you know trying to be respectful of the culture but you don't need to do that and what I had is I had my scarf and I had a couple of different scarves and um, I could just put that over my shoulder and, the, and they're really nice anyway to help with the shade. The other thing you want to remember is to bring your hat. Now I was dealing with a lot of hats trying to figure out what hat would work the best for me and um, I just liked this one. <laughs> I wore this hat a lot which is really great because I could just put my hair in a ponytail, shove it in the back and I had some shade. Now the bill's not that big, but it's okay. And it was still hot, but it was okay. And um, it was really doable. So the other thing that I read about and heard about is the toilet paper situation. So it doesn't matter if you have toilet paper or not. I made a big deal about having toilet paper because I thought there wasn't gonna be any. But if you bring toilet paper, that's fine. You're still going to have to pay five Egyptian pounds to go to the restroom wherever you go. So if you go to the restroom, you need to make sure that you have change. You need to have five Egyptian pounds. And you're going to pay it whether you have toilet paper or not. So if you want to be prepared, you can bring it. And if not, then that's, you know, that's just fine. Um, I did ask my tour guide because I wanted to make sure that I'm giving you really great information. I asked them about the soap because I had heard that there was some question about soap and he said well you're gonna have toilet paper every time you go to the bathroom but you might not always have soap so just make sure you bring your hand sanitizers and since we're used to bringing hand sanitizers anyway that's not an issue but that's just something to uh, pay attention to the best way to travel I'm sorry you're in, in a third world country um, it's 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 different, you know. Um, you're gonna see a lot of poverty. You're gonna see a lot of, um, you know, things that are different than from, you know, our country, from the United States, or from and from Europe. It's just gonna be different. So number one, like today, we took a ride into Edfu to go see Horus' Horus's temple, Temple of Horus, and it was beautiful. The temple was amazing. It's the most 
um, intact temple of all of, of, um, of Egypt. But it's in a really poor town. And so when I, we, got, we had to get on a horse and carriage that took us from our boat to the temple because it's not close to the Nile. In fact, that's one of the reasons why it's so preserved because it never got flooded by the Nile. But, you know, I had to really take a deep breath and I had to say, okay, because the animals, the horses looked, you know, not taken care of well and it was very uh, hard to see, you know. And so what I did is, oh my God, all my anxiety about the poor horse, I had to take a breath and say, listen, this is not my country. This is how the people are here. This is what they do. I sent love to the horse <laughs> and I just had to um, to realize that sometimes when you're another, when you are in another country and to another culture, you have to understand it and you have to sometimes just breathe through it and just send love to the situation. But you want to make sure that you're safe and that you have, you know, a good travel agent that can arrange the trip for you. Um, having a tour guide to take you to the temples is honestly a must. You can be in a group or you can have a private tour. It's not that bad. And you get so much more out of it. I was talking to him, um, to the tour guide and the tour director, because we have a tour director and we have a tour guide and we have a leader of the group. And, I, and the tour guide is a local. So he's an Egyptologist. He's been around for a really long time and he really knows his stuff. And I asked him, I said, so how safe is it for women to travel alone in the country of Egypt? And he's like, don't do it. He said the best way to travel is to go through a travel agent, have a tour guide, and um, you know, make your trip nice and safe. And we've been able to know when to go to the temple where it might be a little less crowded. I mean, we can't make that happen all the time, but today we went to the temple in the afternoon and we knew everyone from the boats and from the cruises came in in the morning. So there's some really good reasons to use a travel agent who has a connection to someone here in Egypt. And I will be planning a trip to Egypt maybe in the next two years, maybe in 2024, to um, take a group of women who want to go. Um, anyway, with that said, another thing to be very careful about is to make sure that when you go through all of the lines, when you're going into the temples, there's, there's going to be people that harass you to buy their stuff. Now, you can, you can, of course, you can buy that stuff if you want to, but if you don't, best way to get through that crowded area is just really don't look, don't talk, don't engage. Um, otherwise they'll hand you the whole time. And, and you know, that's their culture too. You know, they're trying to make buck. They're trying to make a buck to feed their family. But you do what is right for you. And I didn't buy anything. I tried to keep my mind my eyes straight forward because we're going to Aswan after this and we're going to go to the market there. Going on the River Nile has been amazing. And I'll show a picture of the boat right here. It's a small boat and it's really slow. And it doesn't go at night, so we have to dock at night. And we get to really enjoy the landscape and see the whole way down the River Nile. Very exciting. So we'll see you in Cairo. Here I am in Cairo. I'm in my hotel room. This is the end of my last day in Egypt. I fly home tomorrow and I'm looking forward to coming home as I always do. And I have had a fabulous trip. I did some things I never thought I would. I actually crawled up the, uh, in the Great Pyramid, I crawled up to the King's Chamber, which if you know me, wow, that's a really big, a big deal for me. It was very hard and I had some very loving support because it was so hard for me, but I did it. I made it to the top. 
Anyway, let's get back to talking about Egypt and what you need to know. So, of course, you always you know, need to make sure that you drink bottled water. That's really important um, in this country to make sure that you don't get sick. And I did not have any stomach issues at all, and I ate everything. Um, I drank bottled water, but I did use the tap to brush my teeth. And I, um, I ate fruit, lots of fruit. The food was very fresh, and I ate all of that, so I had no stomach issues this whole trip. And um, so that's really good news. And today in Cairo, I did use my little toilet paper roll. I know that I did say that there's plenty of toilet paper everywhere, but I kept this in my backpack. And it's so cute because it actually rolls out like this. And so I used it in the bus. We had a, um, a restroom in the bus and a lot of us needed to use it, but there was no toilet paper. I used it for Kleenex today and I used it when I felt my hands were dirty and I wanted to eat an apple. <laughs> so I used it and it was the first time I used it was just uh, for today. I feel like my packing went well. I think I wore everything except some of the really big bulky things that I didn't need to wear. Um, I brought that those to Egypt uh, thinking that those were things I needed to have, but I didn't. So those were the things I didn't wear, but because I was in two completely different places, the two different missions, um, I used all my clothes. I wore them all. I'm ready to go home and wash them and uh, start you know, it's a long time to be just be using the same clothes over and over again, but I did wash some clothes, which worked out great, and so um, it all worked out perfectly. Um, I did buy some souvenirs, and I had room in my weekender bag to add some stuff, and it was fantastic. I'm ready to go home. As always, I love to go on vacation, and I love to go and explore. And then I love it just as much to come home. So I'm ready to come home and see my Nico and see everybody. And I hope that everything that I've talked about has been helpful. If there's anything that I missed, I will put another video at the end after I do the editing um, and I can add some extra to this. But I wanted to do a little bit in Cairo while I was here. We had a great day, really amazing trip. I recommend it to anyone. If you have any questions at all about the trip, if you have any comments at all, I would love to hear your opinion and I hope you subscribe and like my video if you feel like it was useful and other people should listen to it because the more you like these videos and subscribe, the more it gets out to the public. So anyway, have a really great day and ciao for now.